there is probable cause showing that law enforcement committed criminal conduct during the 2020 George Floyd protests here in Austin. Today, we will give you several updates related to that inquiry. Hmm, got some grease on my nose. Oh, I just noticed that. We'll get with that right quick. We're just gonna do it one take, what do you reckon? There it is, all right. Okay, so check this out. Got some saucy news. It's gonna bring you a few things I read through some articles today. Um, the Hillary Sussman, or Hillary attorney, Michael Sussman, uh, or, or Zussman, I, I say it say different, different ways. All I know about the Ghislaine trial is that nobody can say her name right. I think I got it right, but anyways, Ghislaine, Ghislaine, anyway. Okay, getting off subject already. Hope uh, everybody's had a wonderful day so far. Um, thank you all the new subscribers. Lots of love to everybody, by the way. So, uh, cover, a few, cover a few topics now. The, the, the Hillary attorney the, of the Zussman files request to dismiss the Durham investigation case. He's like, oh my gosh, please don't. I don't want to hear this. Uh, don't, nobody wants, they don't want this to come out because uh, John Durham was a made-up character, supposedly. They thought he was just some kind of like fictitional person who just didn't exist and this uh, investigation would go like, ding, 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 just kind of go on out. But anyways, so the New York Post is reporting on this development. Attorneys for Hillary Clinton presidential campaign lawyer filed a, mo filed a motion Thursday to dismiss special counsel John Durham's case against him, calling the matter extraordinarily prosecutional overreach. The, I guess that means like we're supposed to be above the law. You can't do anything to me. The lawyer, Michael Sussman, was charged last year in Durham's Trump Russia investigation after he was accused of lying to the FBI when, an agent when he told them he wasn't advising Clinton's 2016 presidential campaign. However, we know a lot of things were a little different about that. In the motion of the, to dismiss, Sussman's legal team said he did not make false statements to the FBI and argued the prosecutors were pursuing him on a technicality. Well, if I'm not mistaken, I do but remember that they did some kind of weird stuff to try to catch uh, Donald Trump in some stuff with some kind of weird technicality. So what the heck? Anyways, his lawyers argued that Sussman voluntarily met with FBI agents in September to pass along information that raised national security concerns. Sus Sussman had raised concerns with the FBI about per per perpetrated ties the Trump Organization and Moscow's AFA Bank. Further review suggests the suggestion su supposed digital fingerprints were likely the result of junk email. So that's just a little something about that. So what I'll do is I'll link this in the video title. Now, however, I've had a little bit of an issue because of my technical non-knowledge about posting links and comments. So now that you look in the comments, I will have the links. Somebody came to me and said, dude, this stuff's not working. So I had to figure out how to pin things. Forgive me because I'm new to this YouTube game. This is not very, I've never done this before. So this is great that y'all are sticking with me. Thank you so much because this is a journey to greatness. We're going to save America. Um, Soros founded Travis County DA announces 19 Austin police officers have been indicted on an aggravated assault charges over the 2020 George Floyd riots. Oh no. Um, you know, that's just another attack on the, on our side. And then this dude here looks like a, if you see, I'll link the article in the description there and pretty much you can you if you look at the guy you can figure it out you can see what we're working with here and uh to keep this news rolling i find it very uh, uh that that looks like a lot of the uh, places are lifting their mass mandates and so washington governor Inslee to end statewide mass mandate march 21st including for schools so that means it's optional which it should be if you want to put a face diaper on um hillary clinton lashes out at at Trump, New York, uh, she's man, she's catching all kind of flack, dude, all kind of stuff. Uh, and then you've got uh, the there's a new judge that says Trump and his two children must testify under oath in the New York AG Letitia James witch hunt investigation, and she's pretty much just going to try everything she can to um, find something on this man. But uh, I don't know what they're going to do. I, I just know that it's just like a whole bunch of like political mumbo jumbo there. And uh, oh, oh, and this right here too. A uh, uh, man attacked an Applebee's bartender with a meat cleaver after being told to leave restaurant for failing to show proof of vaccination. Now, this is the first time I read this article. So what's this about? I'm going to check this out. Bellevue, Washington. A man tried to attack an Applebee's bartender after he was asked to show proof of coof -V. Uh, earlier this week, and the 58-year-old Michael Duza got outside. He reportedly raised the meat cleaver over his head and charged at the bartender after being told to leave the restaurant for failing to show proof of coof V. So, uh, yeah. Looks like things are starting to escalate in the world of aggravation. If I'm not mistaken, I'll quote Klaus Schwab, who was like, The pressures of society will become more, and the people will become angry.
And that is what we want to do to further break down society. That's a uh, Klaus Schwab for you right there, everybody. How you like that? So anyhow, um, you know, it's sad to see that people are turning to this stuff because of the fact that people are just tired of not being, it's not on excuse violence at all. I don't want somebody to be doing that. So this is not a good thing for somebody to be doing. Um, but it's just, it is, it is a reflection of the society itself, feeling the pressures of the breakdown. And, um, so, and there's another video floating around and I'll see if I can get it loaded on here. And if I do, it'll be in a second or two. Uh, I'm going to try to get that loaded on. Uh, the, the Hillary getting uh, heckled seriously at a at a, a walk-in at one of her events where it says, lock her up, lock her up. So I'll, I'll see if I can put that in there. And uh, just a lot of things going on right now. The truckers in Canada are, are facing some pretty rough stuff going on. But there's a lot of people that they had to leave. But there are a lot of people who are still there. And there's more people coming that are willing to make that big sacrifice. Sorry about the lighting. I'm all dirty today because I've been working. And I'm still waiting on the cylinder heads for that Ranger because I had a I had a comment one day saying that Ranger whooping your tail. No, I'm just I, I can't get the valve seats. The machine shop's got everything ready except for getting the valve seats put back in. Excuse me, Patriot Burke. Excuse me. And that motor right there is the same thing. It's at the same machine shop there. They got to I'm working. They got to do a bunch of work on that motor. So they and I'm working this other side of the stall. There's a whole other side. So I run it while this stuff is just in here because I don't feel like pushing it out. But anyways. So, uh, anybody out there, that's what's going on with these two vehicles, just waiting, waiting, waiting. As soon as I get everything going, that's what it's going to be. And, uh, yeah, so that's just some of the news going on today. There, um, there's uh, a lot going on so far as mandates, and I'll, there'll be some more information coming out about that. But I just want to let everybody know that I really appreciate everybody checking all this stuff out, um, and I'll link the video up. Anyway. I couldn't agree with those folks more. Lock her up. I <laughs> always liked it whenever Trump called her out on that stuff. It was really, really funny in the debates. So, I hope they don't try that again. Or far as putting her back up against uh, Trump, because you know what it is. Anyways, thank y'all so much for um, hanging out. All right, y'all have a good evening. Lots of love. God is in control. I'll put some links in the comments of some YouTubers that are our friends of mine. They're trying hard to save America, too. Hardworking folk. And also, Fox and Archibald Show. Check it out. We, we do that, too. Blue Collar Talk. Thank you very, very much. God is in control.